the hypocrites continues the NJ Dewey translation of the Quran. There'll be some uh, comments and some adjustments. In the name of Allah, the compassionate, be merciful. When the hypocrites come to you, they say, we bear witness that you are Allah's apostle. Allah knows that you are indeed his apostle. And Allah bears witness that the hypocrites are surely lying. Now, see, the some of those who call themselves submitters, um, followers of Rashid Khalifa, um, maybe some others too, try to act like you're not supposed to testify that God's apostle is a God's apostle because there were some people who said it and didn't mean it. What? You know, the, even the Quran, we saw earlier in the Quran that Muhammad or Rasulullah is something in it. Um, they use their faith as a disguise and debar others from the path of Allah. Evil is what they do. They believed and then renounced their faith. Their hearts are sealed so that they are devoid of understanding. When you see them, their good looks please you. And when they speak, you listen to what they say. Yet they are like propped up beams of timber. Every shout they hear, they take to be against them. They are the enemy. Guard yourself against them. Allah confound them how perverse they are. When they are told, come, Allah's apostle will beg forgiveness for you. They turn their heads, and you see them go away in scorn. Now remember the thing in Surah 9 about, you know, not praying for those. Um, but see, why should you not want to be prayed for as a believer? Right? I mean, if it's the outward sign, it's the outward sign, right? Um, and that's all we can judge on. It is the same whether or not you ask for forgiveness for them. Allah will not forgive them. Allah does not guide the evildoers. You know, we're using the verb form. Um, so God's not guiding. The guidance is being put forward, but God's not guiding because they're not choosing to accept the guidance. It is they who say, give nothing to those that follow Allah's apostle until they have deserted him. Allah's are the treasures of the heavens and the earth, but the hypocrites cannot understand. They say, if we return to Medina, the strong will soon drive out the weak, but strength belongs to Allah and his apostle and to the faithful. Yet the hypocrites do not know it. Believers, let Neither your riches nor your children beguile you of Allah's remembrance. Those that forget him will surely be the losers. Give then of that. We have given you before death befalls you. And you say, reprieve me, Lord, a while, that I may give in charity and be among the righteous. But Allah reprieves no soul when its term expires. Allah has knowledge of all your actions. Now, I'm communicating with somebody that says they believe in reincarnation. Um, they, whatever, but, uh, you know, they don't answer passages like this. Like, don't you just want to reincarnate so you can come back? And if there's no good or evil, nothing, you know, it doesn't matter one way or the other. Again, wh why are you insisting that you have to come back, right? And it doesn't make sense that other that it, that you know somebody just happens to be prayed for for the right person. They weren't a good person, and it will count, you know, sometimes even more than those who are actually were good people. So you know that's definitely addressed for. We we pray for people. Let's let's focus on praying for people to be guided.